Joining us now, uh, former Goldman Sachs CEO uh, Lloyd Blankfein. I was hoping, Lloyd, it's great to see you. I was hoping you'd, you'd join us in studio, but then I was told you're in Miami, and I go, ah, oh, that figures. Spring break, Lloyd? Is that why you're there? Yeah, 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 spring break. Um, I'm in Miami, but my taxes are still in New York. Rest <laughs> easy. History, um, they say, never repeats itself, Lloyd, but, but sometimes it rhymes. Is this rhyming at all? Is it even rhyming at this point, in your view, what, 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 uh, what we witnessed in the past three weeks? Yeah, everybody's kind of, it, it, it's a lot different. Um, in 2008, you had bad assets, and people didn't know whether they were very valuable or valueless. Um, that was a very big issue. It turned out to be more valueless than valuable. Here, you have the best assets in the world in, in, in most of the cases, uh, good, good sound mortgages and U.S. government debt, best credits in the world, but it's obviously a duration problem, probably not as widespread. Banking system in much better shape, much better shape than it was before, much higher capitalized, doesn't involve the biggest banks, which, of course, were much more systemic at the time. But, uh, you know, it's different. But, uh, you know, there's a lot. There's only a few ways of getting things right, but a lot of ways of screwing it up. Just because it's different doesn't mean it's not concerning, obviously. Right. The, uh, the reaction of regulators this time around, uh, we keep talking about explicit, implicit uh, deposit guarantees. Do you think we're going down kind of a slippery slope when, when you start uh, telling bank managers they don't need to worry about runs anymore? Yeah, well, I'm hardly saying that. I mean, they have their own, you know, worries of their, you know, solvency and other issues aside from whether they keep their deposits or not, whether they can make money or not in their in their businesses, which may, they may not do if uh, the cost of their funding goes up and they have to pay out, uh, you know, and they don't make more money because they have uh, securities that don't pay a lot of money. Um, but um, let me say it again, Joe. What was the core of the question? Do you think that is a a dangerous precedent to start? saying we're going to guarantee all yeah. deposit. I mean, a lot of the depositors at SVB should... There's been a case made that yeah, there should have been at least of, some uh, haircut. Look, have there's to, some really rich people that, that, that are, are whole. Go ahead. Yeah, we're going to go down a policy road here. There's going to be a lot of debate, but it also... Look, there are, huge, there are consequences, you know, so you know, moral hazard to, to doing anything where you go out of, you know, you change the rules to make things come out better for someone else. You know, a lot's been said about this. I've said this before. What is really, are we really re relying on, on uh, depositors to enforce uh, bank standards? Um, really not. No more, no more than we're re relying on flyers to enforce the standard on airlines. Usually, you know, the government puts its seal of approval on it. We take that for granted. But, um, you know, but clearly there's some of what you're talking about at risk here. But on the other hand, if you don't, What's going to happen? What's going to induce people to put money into regional banks that have substantially lesser regulation, capital requirements, stress tests? For my money, for no difference in interest rate, essentially, I put my money in the biggest banks that are going to be, frankly, safer. Now, do we want that? Certainly, it wasn't an objective to get more concentration. Um, and you have to think of the value of the way our banking system is structured in this country. It's not like any other country in the world. We have over 4,000 banks. Most countries have a few large banks, and they distribute their, ban um, their branches through the country, but they're, uh, they're, they're managed from a central place. In the U.S., we have banks in the communities, banks in industries, banks that you know, cater to particular demographic, uh, demographic groups. We also have the fastest, the largest economy in the world, and among large economies, the fastest growing economy, and that may be a reason for it. In other words, the grant credit, these things are in opposition. Uh, safety, but you also want to have growth and risk taking. Safety versus risk taking, and some, you know, these come down to policy judgments. So right. you're right, but the other side is right too. And where well, do you want to come out? And where do you want to come out? Where do you want to Where would you come out?